Hello everyone, I welcome all of you in this lecture number 2 of simple interest and compound interest. In today's lecture, we will focus only on simple interest. Okay. So, we have seen the simple interest formula which is PRT by 100 in the previous lecture and amount, amount which is principal plus interest. Well, what is interest? Interest is the extra amount, money, sum which is generated. Okay. If you borrow some funds, you pay extra, that extra is called interest. If you invest some, somewhere, you get better returns, you get some extra money, that extra is interest, okay. So, this is amount which is principal plus interest. With this, let us try solving some questions, okay. So, so here we have. Uh, first question says, what is the simple interest on 5400 in 5 years at the rate of 12 percent per annum? So, if I apply the simple interest, this is what we need to find out. Principal is this much, 5 years is nothing but time and 12 percent per annum is rate of interest. Okay. So, what is the formula? Formula is simple interest equal to principal into rate of interest into time by 100 ok. We will keep writing this formula every time so that we remember it ok. So, principal is 5400, rate of interest is 12 percent, time is 5 years divided by 100. Simplify this, a 0 0 cancel and then that is how you will get 54 into 12 into 5 and that is equal to 3240. This is simple interest. Alright, that is your answer. Okay, simple, easy, I know. Yeah, but do not expect this simple questions in the exam. Alright, and we will see the exam questions also. I have everything prepared for you. You can see here, I got the exam questions also ready for you. We will discuss this. Let us come to question number 2. At what interest uh, rate per annum? Rate of interest at what? We do not know. So, we need to find out. Time is 4 years. A sum of rupees 5000 that is principal become 6000. So, become that value become the new value. This is nothing but amount. Okay. So, you know that in case of simple interest, we need interest, we do not use amount there, right. So, from amount, okay, what is the formula? Amount is sum of principal plus interest. So, from amount, if I subtract, if I take out principal, I am left with interest. So, let us do it. So, amount is 6000 and Principal is 5000. If I subtract this, what will I get? I will get 1000. That is interest, correct? That is interest, all right. Now, having this interest, now rate of interest we need to know. Time is given. Let us apply the formula. Simple interest, what is the formula? PRT by 100, correct? Substitute principal. 5000 rate of interest we don't know time given 4 years right 4 divided by 1000 sorry divided by 100 as per the formula and simple interest is 1000 cancel this out and then that's where you will get the answer what is the answer rate of interest take Remaining numbers to the left hand side, what do you have here? 1000 into not into divide because the numerator will become denominator. 50 into 4, 50 to the 100 and 4 pi the 20. So R is equal to 5 percent per annum. Yes, this is your answer. Okay. I hope you are getting how to uh, apply this amount formula and simple interest formula. Okay. 
Yes. Okay. Now, next question is Rita borrowed rupees 5000 from her friend Ankit at 12 percent per annum for four years. Calculate the simple interest and the total amount she will repay to Ankit. So, we need to calculate simple interest as well as the amount. All right. Pause this question, pause the video, and then try solving this question. Okay. So, what do you have here? Borrowed 5000. 5000 is principal. Rate of interest is 12 percent. Time is 4. That's a straightforward question. So, I can apply the simple interest formula here. And now, this time, I will directly substitute the values. I hope you remember the formula now. So, principal into rate of interest into time divide by 100. Simplify. What do you get? 50. Multiply by 12. 600 into 4. 2400. Yeah. Okay. That is your simple interest. That's the interest what she is going to pay. What will be the amount? Amount will be principal plus interest. What is principal? How much is principal? 5000. How much is the interest? 2400. What's the answer? 7400. That's the amount. Yes? Easy? All right. So, this is interest and this is amount. Hmm? They ask both, we can mark both. Okay? Let's look at the next question. What principle will amount to 570? Amount to. So, what is this? Amount. Right? At 4% per annum. What is 4%? Rate of interest. And 3.5 years, definitely that's time. Okay, so question said find the principal. Okay, now the formula which we have that is amount equal to principal plus interest. I have to, if, if, I, if I want to see uh, the interest here, what will I take? What will I do? I will take out principal from the amount. How is it going to help us? Well, the formula we have is simple interest equal to principal into rate of interest into time divided by 100. So, you get simple interest. No idea. So, let us write amount minus principal. Amount, how much is the amount? 570. 570 is the amount. Principal, you don't know principal. Let us say P equal to P, which we need to find out, R, which is given as 4 percent, time, which is given as 3.5 divided by 100. Okay. So, I hope you understood why have we subtracted principal from the amount to get this. Correct? Okay. All right. Now, it is just simplification of equation. Okay. Do you want to cancel this 4 and 100? You can. Or if you do not want, that is okay. I can simply multiply 100 here, okay, which will get me 570 with two zeros, okay, minus 100 into P equal to now, 3.4 into 3.5 into 4 will get you 7 to 14, right? 14 P. Now, let us take P at the same side. What do we have here? We get 5700. No, 57000 equal to 114 P plus. I have already added, sorry, 14p plus 100p. That is going to get you 114p, right? 5700. So, p is equal to, p is equal to 5700 by 114. 
simplify this yeah, do you see this 7 2s are 14 here so try cancelling it by 57 directly I can say 57 1s are 57 57 2s are 114 cancel by 2 further here we have 2 5s are 10 with 2 zeros so what's the principle here principle is 500 that's your answer okay so i hope all well all going good yeah yes if yes let's try the next question a certain sum of money triple itself in five years simple interest in simple interest find the rate of interest we need to find the rate of interest you have nothing given but a sum of money tripled itself in five years that's it well let's assume that certain sum of money to be p triple itself that means it it become 3p it become 3p so what is 3p 3p is the amount in this case okay five years is a time and then rate of interest you need to find out correct so if this is the amount 3p is the amount and principal here p so the amount minus principal if you take out principal from the amount you are left with only interest yeah that's what we have seen in the previous question right okay so 3p minus p is 2p that is your interest this is your interest right well with this interest in this interest if i have the principal p a rate of interest i need to find out time is given as to be 5 years divide by 100 yeah what did i do i applied the formula which formula simple interest equal to principal into rate of interest into time by 100 okay where we got simple interest as what 2p correct okay yes simplify further what you get here p is in multiplication cancel 5 2s are 10 with 0 cross multiply so r is equal to cross multiply r is equal to how much 22 is a 40 so r is what 40 percent per annum okay simple questions just to build up your build up the foundation for simple interest okay so in this lecture that is it we will discuss more question in the next lecture till then stay happy stay healthy bye bye